We know in our observed universe, there are over 100 billion galaxies. The big asteroids take maybe once every 100 million years, okay? Black holes are, we think, are real objects, and we've actually been able to image something we think is a black hole. And as I say, Kip Thorne's done a lot of work on black holes. Among, that's not what he won the Nobel Prize for. So they're very exotic objects. But again, if they were the size of the universe, they're not that exotic. You could live in one, right? A closed universe. Now that's what I was getting back to. So a closed universe is one that closes in on itself. If it's full of just matter and radiation, it'll eventually have to collapse into a point. And, and that's how what, long does the, well, the collapse it, is instant, but how long no, could it, it take no, to build it, up it, to no, it, Well, and if, our, if our universe were closed right now and it started to collapse, it would take as long to collapse as it ex took to get there. So it'd be, four, it'd be 12 billion, 13 billion years. I want to I want to make sure I'm not missing something here yeah. with how you're talking about it. Yeah. The way I've always understood it uh -huh. is that, you know, we have the planetary system, the stars, the mm -hmm. sun, obviously, then you have it as a part of a galaxy yeah. that is a collection of stars, mm -hmm. and then the, the, all the galaxies comprise the universe. But I want to make sure you are still referring to the fact that that is that is everything. That I'm is just one saying well, I'm not, that may not be everything, but I'm just saying take something takes the our universe may be infinite. But take the region of the universe we can see, which is really all that matters. Which is like nothing, though. Well, it's... We, it's can, see, we can see the sun. No, no. We, we can, can see, see stars. We can see out to the most distant stars in the in In, in, in the, the galaxy. Ga Not in the galaxy. We can see way beyond our galaxy. We can see 100 billion galaxies in our observable universe. With our telescopes, we can see out to, back to early times about 12 or 13 billion years ago, almost, and out to distances of 40 to 50 billion light years away. Really? Yeah, we do it all. That's what the that's what the James Webb Space Telescope was designed to do. I didn't know it's all that far. Of course it is. Yeah, you can see as far as you can, as light allows you to see. So so we 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 know in our observed universe there are over a hundred billion galaxies. Turns out if you go back in time there were like two trillion galaxies you could see, but a lot of those galaxies have merged today to form. To, so the, like our Milky Way galaxy cannibalized a lot of other smaller galaxies. What do you mean it cannibalized? Well, I mean what I mean is that. There were small systems that fell together due to their mutual gravitational attraction, eventually building up to form our Milky Way galaxy. There are a few. There are some satellite galaxies around us right now. If you live in the Southern Hemisphere, you can see the large and small Magellanic clouds, they're called. And those are small satellite galaxies, which will eventually collapse into our galaxy. You, you can see the Andromeda galaxy, which is 2 million light years away. Looks just like our galaxy. It's a beautiful mm. thing with the reasonable telescope. But it's heading right towards us. In five billion years, it's going to collide with our galaxy. Because do you think, do you think Earth could end long before then, though, too, well, because of well, other things? Well, Earth, the sun, at that point, within five billion years, the sun will have eaten the Earth because <laughs> it'll become a red giant, unless we move the Earth, which is possible. How and, would we move the Earth? Hold well, on. It's easy. You can't just say that. I mean, it's easy. I threw it out We're there. We're trying to get the Mars right now, and that's I know. Hard. That's going to be hard. But in a, in a five billion years, maybe you could move the Earth. It might be easier to move the Earth than to get to Mars, in a way. Real? All right. You're going to have to defend that one. Yeah, I know. Um, be, well, actually, I learned this from a friend of mine. He actually won the Nobel Prize in physics. He's a pretty good physicist. But um, uh, so... Uh, all you have to do, if, if, if you want to move the Earth out, you have to change its, its, its energy of its motion. And the way you can change the energy of motion is if three bodies collide, they can exchange energy. Mm. So all you have to do is direct asteroids close to the Earth, but not close enough to hit it. And, and they'll gain energy in the process of that interaction of the Earth and Sun system. How but would the, you do that? Direct well, you'd go, you'd to go out to them and put a little rocket on them and, or, and, or, knock them, <laughs> or knock them to the side. The way we want to protect the Earth, by the way, right? We know there are objects that are going to collide with the Earth and cause massive destruction if they don't move it. So as it has a, in the past. As has in the past. And we now have a system of looking for those things. And as you probably know, NASA did a test mission last year where they, they, they knocked into a they, – they basically had a, had a, a, a rocket knock into a – Wait, uh, I don't. I don't you remember know this. Little, Maybe small, I do, but it's not in it's, there right they, they now. Walk, they they knocked into a small asteroid and saw the change in its motion. That's probably the How way did they we, knock into it. They took a, a, a spacecraft and and rammed it into it. You don't know about that? No. Look it up. I don't. It's on Google. And unlike see, most things, it's on Google. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> That's a. We're, we're gonna put a pin in that one. All right. NASA's That's Dart hard. data validates kinetic impact as planetary defense mission. Yeah. Let's scroll down, Alessi, if you don't mind. This is the video. 
All right, yeah, can we put this video in the corner? This might be copyright, but so in which case we'll just leave it it's on NASA, the screen. It's NASA, so I don't think it is, actually. But it probably, oh, yeah, it's government. It, it's, it might be too well, long. Do you check how long brief, it is? It's a brief one. It's a synopsis. So is the, this is the takeoff of it. Yeah. Is that like a rocket? Yeah, it's a rocket. Well, that's what we call a rocket. How big is that thing? Big. Like, like, all right, <laughs> but like what are we talking? Like I don't know, maybe 10 stories. That's actually, okay. Oh, the, the object itself is small. It's probably a ton or less. Did it? Ha did they put anything special in there, like a nuclear bomb or no, something? No, 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 no. They don't. No, they just hit it. They just okay. rammed it into the asteroid. That's it right there. That's it. Whoa. So they have the video right here. And and it impacted on that small asteroid. And how far away was this asteroid approximately? Far. I don't know. Far. And there's <laughs> people happy. One of the few times you have a collision that people are happy about. When did they? How long did it take after launch for it to reach that? Uh, probably it probably took. Uh, uh, I, again, I don't remember, but my bet is it took over a year. Whoa. That's not, but you know what, though? That's not that far. No, I know, but that point is that if you know it's far and sweet, close. if we have a planetary defense system where we have telescopes looking for potential Earth colliding objects that are, say, that will take 10 years to get here, if we see them far enough, you know, maybe take 10 years to get here, then you might imagine getting a rocket and launching it with enough time to deflect its trajectory by enough to, to, to miss the Earth. And that's the mm. idea of planetary defense. It's a really useful thing. I mean, the likelihood that we're going to be hit is small. The big asteroids take maybe once every 100 million years, okay? Smaller uh, ones, okay. well, those are Earth-destroying asteroids. But ones that could cause havoc are probably, you know, more frequent. But it's not that, not that frequent. But it's still a reality, Unlike many things that people spend money on. How it, big was the asteroid that took out the dinosaurs? It, I th it, it was probably, uh, um, it, was, it was between 1 and 10 kilometers across in size.